Welcome back to America's Retirement Headquarters, home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates with Nolan Baker. 419-794-3030 is the phone number. ARHQ.com is the website. Can boneless chicken wings actually have bones? Well, according to the Ohio Supreme Court, the answer is yes. It recently dismissed a lawsuit by ruling in a 4-3 to vote that boneless actually refers to a cooking style rather than the literal meaning of not having bones in it. Listen, I think we all believe that words should mean something, but... Sometimes they don't. Let's take the word fiduciary. It's supposed to mean acting in a client's best interest. There are some financial advisors out there who claim they are fiduciaries, yet they refuse to entertain some options like annuities that could still benefit their clients. What is the disconnect here? Why would they not offer them, uh, Nolan? There definitely, I think, does seem to be some disconnect that's in the industry today. I mean, you know, if you look at some of the commercials that are out, uh, you'll see commercials that talk about, uh, how you should not have any money in annuities. And you'll see other commercials that talk about how you should have most or all of your money in annuities. And, you know, when we think about why do some advisors not offer annuities, I think to me there's really four basic reasons. And uh, number one is you get what's called fee-only advisors. You know, with a fee-only advisor, what they are typically doing is they're charging a fee uh, based upon the assets under management and they're usually recommending what is referred to as like an asset allocation portfolio of stocks, bonds, and ETFs. So in, in essence, the more money they can get under fee-based assets under management, uh, the more fees and expenses they have the ability to charge. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having a part of the portfolio be into fee-based management. In fact, uh, I think stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and equities for part of a portfolio uh, can make a lot of sense. You know, you mm-hmm. can have some growth part of the portfolio. You know, long term having some equity exposure in a portfolio to me makes a ton of sense. Uh, the question is, is you know, even with the stock market, uh, something that I would traditionally have to tell people is that past performance doesn't guarantee future results. Uh, on the other case, if you're looking at some of the fixed products that's out there, you can use the word guarantee. You know, if I put somebody in an FDIC insured bank CD. It's the federal government that's guaranteeing a fixed rate of return. If you put somebody in a multi-year fixed annuity, it's the insurance company that's guaranteeing a fixed rate of return. It's not going to be subject to the lottery of the returns of the stock market. And a lot of these products like FDIC insured CDs or annuities, they don't have those management fees and expenses that are associated with it. You know, so from a fee-only advisor standpoint, it's just not in their wheelhouse. And my opinion is there's no Swiss Army knife of approach, meaning that having all of the money in a managed portfolio is a Swiss Army knife approach. Uh, Number two, complexity and transparency. Now, I would agree with this. When you look at the fact that there's hundreds of different annuity products that's out there, there's fixed, there's index, there's variable, not only are they complex and confusing for consumers, a lot of financial advisors don't do their homework and are not, in my opinion, properly educated about what the complexity and the transparency is. Uh, When you have uh, different riders and benefits and how they work and understanding uh, how to keep up with the changes of the contracts, uh, caps and fees and spreads. Uh, those complexities and transparencies are oftentimes what makes uh, another reason I think that people shy away. It goes back to the old saying there is that uh, the keep it simple, stupid, the kiss philosophy. <laughs> in, in annuities, that makes a lot of sense too. So the more complex the product design is, uh, it, it oftentimes is not in the best interest of uh, the consumer, you know, the more complex it is, the harder it is to understand the uh, reasons why maybe that's not the right product for you. So before you get into any financial product, whether it's a managed portfolio or whether it's an annuity, you know, make sure that you understand the contract language, make sure you understand the ins and outs and where there's complexity, ask questions, be fully educated uh, who you're working with and or the insurance company that you're working with, you know, should be able to provide you good, complete transparency. That way you can make a good, educated decision. Uh, there's been a lot of studies where if you take the fee-based equity part of a portfolio and you blend it with a, a fixed income investment uh, like a CD or an annuity, they actually complement each other quite well. 
And number three is you could just have philosophical beliefs and differences. And a, a good example of that is the term of uh, climbing the mountain versus coming down the mountain. You know, when you're climbing the mountain, you're in, you're in your 20s and 30s and maybe even within your 40s, growth-oriented investments and putting money into an account that can grow over time uh, would make sense where for younger investors, annuities are, are less attractive than for older investors. And when you transition into retirement time, it's more like coming down the mountain. If you look at things like Mount Everest or the amount of people that get hurt, killed, or died on Mount Everest, it's more so the people that are coming down the mountain. You know, retirees cannot afford just the lottery of the returns of the stock market. They need to have more predictability in their portfolio and helping them get off the mountain safely and having things that are non-market risk driven uh, is going to help give them a little bit more of peace of mind. You know, oftentimes you'll hear advisors say, well, you know, over the past five or 10 years, that investment's earned an 8% rate of return, so you can safely withdraw 5 or 6%. Well, Past performance, again, doesn't guarantee future results when it comes to equity markets. What if we have a continued downturn like what we've seen so far in August with the markets? You know, how can that negatively impact people? So those philosophical beliefs can be the third reason. And the fourth reason is, you know, the past interest rate environment with a strong equity market uh, did not probably make annuities an attractive product in uh, many situations. A lot of those annuities are tied to the fixed rate market. Now, what we have seen happen, though, is we've seen interest rates go up the fastest they've gone up in 20 years. We have this moment of time before the Federal Reserve starts lowering interest rates where you have this ability to be able to lock in, again, some of the what I have seen to be some of the best rates in decades uh, in the, the, the portfolio. But I could say, an advisor who looked at fixed rates three years ago, it would make sense. You know, why would that be attractive uh, where the interest rate environment was a couple of years ago and how strong the equity market is today? And that's not the case today. So, you know, whether you're uh, considering uh, getting an annuity, whether you want to get educated about an annuity or whether you have an annuity, um, this is something that, you know, we have decades of experience and know how to navigate that. Uh, we can help you take that comprehensive approach where it's not a one-size-fits-all. It's based upon your individual situation. We can help you take the complexity out of the products, make sure that we help you pick one that's in your best interest. We believe that you should have some safety in your portfolio, help protect you as you're moving into retirement time, and make sure that you're taking advantage of the current interest rate environment because it's extremely attractive. Uh, we'd be happy to chat. And it starts with that phone call, 419-794-3030. I know here we are, you know, uh, in the, the dog days of summer, and it's a little too early to start thinking about this. But think about the Thanksgiving dinner table and think about uh, all the different dishes that are there available. And you probably have your favorites. You know, you take a little bit of everything. There may be some dishes that you take a courtesy bite or you just ignore them at all. But it's someone else. It works for someone else, so it's there on the table. When it comes to a financial plan, annuities are there on the table. It should be part of the conversation, not saying it's going to be right for everybody out there, not saying it needs to be in any, everyone's plan at all. And it certainly doesn't need to be the entirety of the plan, but to find that right blend, that is where that education comes into play. That is what the team at America's Retirement Headquarters does, educating you, informing you, showing you, hey, this could be a part, this could be a valuable part. Uh, and then if you decide to go from there, uh, then they proceed with that. But if, if you decide that that's not part of it, no harm, no foul, you know, figuring out other ways to make your retirement plan whole. That's all part of the retirement team action plan. And that all begins with a phone call, 419-794-3030. Once again, 419-794-3030. Or you can always find them online, arhq.com. want to thank you for joining us here on America's Retirement Headquarters. As we always do, really appreciate you taking time out of your day to spend with us. Hope you have a great uh, week ahead of you. Uh, Nolan, Always appreciate you taking time to spend with us and the listeners as we wrap up here. I want to leave you with the final word. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Probably one of the most important times right now to get your retirement team action plan. We've got the market uncertainty with the volatility that we're seeing right now. The Federal Reserve indicating they're planning on cutting interest rates and the looming election. So let's check this off the list. I know enjoy the summer, but take an hour, invest an hour, get your retirement team action plan. Give us a call at the office 
uh, 419-794-3030. If you have $250,000 or more, we'd be happy to put that together for you, uh, help you gain confidence through this uncertain environment that we have right now. And just remember, when you think retirement, think America's Retirement Headquarters. It's home of the Retirement Guys Formula and America's Medicare Associates.